Hi everybody, this is Jason Brown at Global Animations. Uh, today I thought we'd take a look at creating a, a cool text-based animation for a breaking news open. Today I'm just going to be using Maxon Cinema 4D to pull off this whole effect. Uh, we're going to be using the MoGraph module, so you'll need that if you want to do the tutorial. Um, and specifically under the MoGraph module, we'll be using the Fracture Object feature. It's just kind of just a quick way to pull off an open if you're under a time constraints and you've got to get an open out. Uh, a lot of times you'll crank something out, it'll just be 2D and relatively boring to look at. So this is kind of a better way of doing that. Plus it has many, many other options once you learn how to do this. It's really cool. The, kind of the sky's the limit what you can do. Um, so you'll need the MoGraph module to pull this off. And let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and launch Cinema. Okay, now we've launched Cinema. Go ahead and center your screen here. Start off nice and clean. Um, the usual way to make text would be to go make a spline text object and then extrude it with extrude nerves. We don't have to do that anymore. You can go under MoGraph. It's got a te text object built into it. It does it for you. So go in here, let's make our text. Uh, two words, one at a time. We'll do all caps, breaking news. Uh, that font's a little wimpy, so it's a good font, uh, Helvetica, but let's make it bold. There we go. That's better. Uh, you can scroll wheel, scroll wheel in and out, and it zooms in and out. Okay. Uh, before we make another one, let's go under caps, fillet cap, to both sides, and this is really important. Don't skip this. We'll need these later. Uh, let's do five, one point five. Same for the other side. Okay. Now that we've got this made, uh, if you click, control click on the text and drag, it's going to duplicate it go back under object you can type your next word breaking news if you click on the arrow and drag it down it's gonna update we'll need to scale it up with a scale tool just make it about the same size or same length bigger of course in size and bring it down that looks pretty cool uh, we've got simple text done it looks still kind of wimpy if this opens for breaking news we want something you know thick meaty it says hey take a look at me so just grab these and make the depth just crank it up uh, yeah, there we go. About 300 or so. Maybe a little less. There we go. That looks a lot better. It's going to grab your attention a little bit more. Alright, now that we've made the text, what we need to do is break this text apart. It's really very easy to do. Select both of these, hit the C button on your keyboard, or you can click this button. It does the same thing. And it's going to break it up into all the different letters extruded we really want to take it a step farther than that we want to break this up into the polygon so if you hit edit select all break it apart again and that's going to collapse this down into the polygons and we'll select all to make sure everything's selected what well, the next thing we want to do is basically go into point mode over here and select all of the points edit select all on the points once they're all selected, go under Functions, Explode Segments, and then Functions again, Disconnect. If you get a little pop-up box that says Preserve Groups, just uncheck that and click OK. Um, sometimes it pops up, sometimes it doesn't. I haven't really figured out why. I'm hoping maybe Maxon will call me and uh, explain that to me. Or somebody, if you know that, can drop me a line and let me know why. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, moving on. Now that we've done that, we need to fracture the text. So go under MoGraph add a fracture object element and let's drag these things into it now if you click back on your fracture object go all the way down to the bottom it's set to straight by default we don't want that we want explode segments okay now that we've done that go up to MoGraph again random effector and that's gonna break everything apart crazy looking pretty neat go back to your random effector click on parameter and then zero these X, Y, and Z out. That's going to look like nothing happened. And that's great because eventually we want the text to end up looking like nothing happened. So what we'll do is animate now. Uh, we want to start it off, basically crank the Z uh, transform, the Z position numbers up. I mean, really high. We're talking 10,000. It's going to break it apart. Maybe not 10,000. Let's try 8,000. That'll work. And if you click on this, hold control and click on this little circle here, it's going to give you a keyframe. Let's go to about 45 and zero this out. 
and that's going to hollow this out. Click control click again, adds another keyframe. If you go back and hit the timeline, your text basically is broken and comes together. Pretty cool. But we need to add a camera in there. We've got a little bit more time before it's due, so let's go ahead and add a camera in so we can make this just a little bit better. Go under camera, scene cameras, select that camera. And let's, uh, let's see, we'll start off animate backwards. Let's go to 45 where we want it to land and set a keyframe on the camera. Go back. Let's scrub through here. I'm scroll wheeling all the way in. All the way until there's nothing on the screen. And set another keyframe for the camera. Let's check that out. Pretty cool. I need something else though. Let's go all the way to the very beginning again. Uh, go into your camera coordinates. This last one, bottom right here, that's your Dutch. Uh, let's turn that over about halfway. And if you control click twice, it's going to uncheck it and check it again to set a keyframe. Now let's look and see what it looks like. It's a little bit better. Something's still a little bit off with it. Um, at the end, it needs to kind of have a little bit of movement. Can't really see that it's broken apart. So let's turn it a little bit and add another click back on your camera to add another keyframe. Let's look at that. That's pretty cool. All right. If you want to adjust any of that, you can. You can adjust um, your random effector. If you're not happy with it landing like that, you can make the effect last a little longer. That looks a lot better. Okay, as far as texturing goes, I just uh, you can download the Chrome rig off of the goodies section on my site, Global Animation GlobalAnimations.net. Um, I'm not going to go really in depth in how to make textures. I think everybody out there knows how to do that. Um, these are just simple textures white and the red. Uh, red has a gradient, add a little bit of reflection, 9%, that's about it. Um, I am going to go into kind of texturing this object. Click on the fracture object itself to texture and let's drag over the just the basic red for everything. That's going to be great because it'll just make everything with the red. Also uh, we want to drag over the white and, um, and the chrome. I, I want to map the chrome to the edges of the caps and to do that you just click on the texture hit selection capital R1 and that's going to map that to the front cap you can see it right there now click like we did earlier control click and drag and it duplicates the texture and I'll set this one to R2 that's going to grab the back face and uh, let's grab the white and select that hit selection for C1 and the same thing, we'll click and drag, C2. And these are default in cinema. There we go, C1 and 2 are the faces, the front faces. So that way we've textured three textures on one object. Let's go ahead and play that through. You can kind of stop it midway through and see how it's gonna look. Pretty neat, you can accomplish a lot of really cool stuff with this. Um, you can't really see it that well. It just kind of depends if you're going to put this on a background, you'll render it out with alpha. Um, I'm not, so I'd like to be able to see it. Add a sphere. Grab your scale tool and just crank this sphere up. I wish there was an easier way to do this, but this is really the fastest way. Make it bigger than your objects. Pretty much the biggest thing in the scene. And uh, just go ahead and add that same white material to the sphere. There we go. You can see the reflections a little bit more. Scrub through the timeline. Pretty neat little effect of breaking the text apart. And it goes well with the breaking news. A lot of uh, TV stations love that campy kind of stuff. So really, that's all that there is to it. Um, you've accomplished that in just a couple of minutes. So you can go on to your next project. Uh, if you want to check out more tutorials on globalanimations.net, thanks for tuning in.